Kevin, congratulations through to the quarterfinals for the second year in a row here at the World Seniors Championship. Tell us how you're feeling after that. No, I'm feeling okay. Obviously, it's nice to win. Um, as I just said to Phil there, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd like to play a little bit better than that. I thought I was going to play a little bit better, but I, I did have in the back of my mind, you know, that Dennis was slow and he put me out my rhythm. Um, but you know, I've been around long enough. I should be able to deal with that. And I, I think my fighting and battling qualities came through. Um, you know, I nicked the first set and probably nicked the second, if you like. I don't know. You know, it's uh, Dennis probably come back thinking he should have been two 0 up. And last set was a formality. I, when we went off for the break, Dennis was on a down. I, I knew that the last set was a formality. I think and. Uh, yeah, I'm, listen, I'm happy to... 3-0, uh, absolutely ridiculous uh, scoreline, really. Dennis deserved a bit better than that, I think. Yeah, how big a moment did you think the deciding look of the second set was? Did you think that was when you when you went off at the break that you got him there? Well, I mean, that was a big moment anyway, but I think the, I think the first set, you know, it was my set, you know, and I'm 2-0 down on it, and, you know, if I lose that set, I've got problems, and um, that would have, Dennis would have been going on with his tail up and everything, but... Uh, to do it twice on the trot, that's a kick in the teeth, and uh, you know it's hard to recover from that. If you're not, ex I mean, Dennis is an experienced county player and everything, but I'm a seasoned professional dart player. We're used to that sort of kick in the teeth, and it's how you recover from that. And I'm proud of myself the way I did recover from that. You know. What final summer afternoon, Terry Jenkins or Mark Dobridge? A tough one either way. There. Oh yeah, of course. I mean, Terry's playing well. Mark's. Playing lovely. Um, not not many see, people have seen um, Mark Dubridge lately, but he's been playing on the Super Series and things like that. He's playing lovely. Dog. Both of them are playing really well. So it's going to be a tough game. So you're in the crowd yesterday enjoying the action. What have you made of the rest of the field? What you've seen so far? No, of course. You know, there's good players here. You know, uh, d d yeah, not everyone's going to win it. Not everyone fancies themselves to win it. A lot of them are here just thinking, you know, but. Listen, there's a lot of good players here and uh, there's seven or eight people here that think they can win it. So, you know, they, they, you know, there's, there's good players here and uh, you have to be careful wherever you play. Spotting the Eric Bristow shirt today, how much of an inspiration was Eric for you in your career? Listen, I played darts because of Eric Bristow, you know, and uh, it's nice. I, when I was young, obviously I didn't know him and uh, I grew to... We ended up being like really good friends and, and good mates and everything, and uh, devastated he's left us. Um, this is a tribute to him. I've worn it before at the Super Series, and um, I thought I'd wear it today in a tribute to him. Um, if it weren't for Eric, we probably none of us would be doing this today. Big day tomorrow, potentially three games if you were to go all the way. What would it mean if you were to lift that trophy tomorrow? Yeah, of course. Listen, you want to win, don't you? You want to win. Um, you, I'm not going to turn up here tomorrow and go, you know, I'm, I'm here for the fun of it. I want to. I want to win. Um, I want to play better than I did today, um, and I think I will. And um, the pace, whoever I play tomorrow, the pace will be better. Um, so, yeah, uh, listen, of course, there'll be eight very good players here tomorrow. So, let's see how we go. Cheers, Kev. Thanks, so Thanks very much. Thank you. Kev, you talked about the pace there. You've obviously played a lot of slow players before. Is it important not to just get pulled into that and play your own game? Yeah, because, you know, listen, when we. When I knew I drew Dennis, I knew, you know, loads of people trying to tell me how to play darts like they do. Um, they're saying, don't get caught up, don't get caught up, and now slow everything's going to go. Um, and mentally, I was, I'm good at the moment. Um, maybe a couple of years ago, you know, of course, listen, if I lost the first set, I'd be thinking, well, hang on a minute, you know. I'd, it, it was slowing me down, of course it was, but I, I worked out during the game, I was moving around, doing my own thing, and it, it suited me really well, so um, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased the way I dealt with it, yeah. Potentially a very long day tomorrow with obviously the quarters, semis, and then the final. Mm. You ready for three matches, what could be a very long day of darts? I'll be ready for it, um, hopefully, um, you know, I, I'm still here at the end, and... Uh, yeah, of course I'll be ready for it. You know, mentally you have to prepare for it. Uh, I've done it before. I've won the Players Championship, which was three um, games on the last day. Um, listen, I'm older now, I'm 55. But uh, listen, if it if it turns up and you Kev, you're in the final, you've been here all day. You don't think I'm going to go up there and I'll play well. I'll play well if I'm still here. I, I just want to go up there and, and, and play well. And, and, and listen, hopefully I'll win it. Lovely. Cheers for your time, Kev. Thanks very much. Thank you.